Hey Dream Chasers, it's JC, and today I'm going to show you how to design your own Twitch panels. I'm using Photoshop, but feel free to use any graphic software of your choice, like GIMP, which is free. I do want to mention that there's a brief promo at the end of this video for Fiverr, where you can hire designers to make panels, emotes, or pretty much anything you need for your stream. So stick around at the end, just in case making your own panels is a little bit too much. Twitch panels make up the content on your Twitch channel that appears underneath your video feed. They're a big part of your first impression as a streamer, so they should reflect your personality and your content. There are a lot of different approaches to panels that I've seen that I think are really cool. It's really a matter of personal preference how you want to go about designing your own panels. You can make each panel completely different and treat them all as mini promo graphics for whatever it is you're linking to. Or you can go with something that's very uniform, that basically is the same design for each header, which looks really clean and it's the easiest way to design panels. You can change things up a bit by designing panels that look more or less uniform, but use different graphics or icons for each header. You could also make a clear distinction between which of your panel graphics are links and which ones are just headers by making them look a little bit different. And if you're a really talented designer, you can still have them all kind of match but still be able to tell which ones are buttons and which ones are just headers. And if you're an artist, you can use your artwork as the background of all your panels to show off your skills. I really love when artists do that because it's a really quick way to get a sense of their style. Or if you're really ambitious, you can do mini illustrations for each panel that explain what that panel is. There's really no limit to what you can do and there's no right or wrong way to do panels. Again, a lot of this is personal taste, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to design something kind of simple and uniform, but feel free to get as creative as you want and really have fun with your panels. Okay, so we are going to make a panel. Uh, panels are 320 pixels wide. They, they get resized to that. So we're going to make the width that, and they can be any height, but I think to start out, we're just going to make 150 we can always crop this, uh, make it make it shorter later if we want to. But I'm going to start with kind of a blue color, just because I like the color blue. And uh, I'm going to pick this rounded rectangle tool, because I, I think rounded edges look kind of nice in panels. Uh, we have our radius set to 10, which is how round the corner is. Uh, you, you, you can play with that number and change around to your liking. Uh, but I made a little rectangle here. and. Uh, it's, it's the width of our, our panel. And I'm going to type some text over this. So I'm gonna click on this text tool here, uh, make the font white. I'm not gonna click right in here because it, it kind of fills up your whole thing, which is awkward. Uh, I'm going to make a text box over this. And so it's like a separate layer. It's not filling in that whole box. That way I can move this around independent of, uh, of the shape we just made. And I'm going to make a panel for, it just says donate. Oop, my cap box is on. There we go. Donate. All right. And I'm going to make that a little bigger. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just using my mouse wheel to make that larger. Uh, and I'm going to play with this, this kerning a little bit. I think that's what it's called. Uh, we're going to open up here. It's like the little uh, character and paragraphs panel. And we're gonna go down here to character and we're just gonna play with the spacing. So we're gonna select that O and this is here, the distance between your letters. I'm gonna increase it a little bit and I'm gonna decrease it with the N because I feel like that looks a little weird. Sometimes A's, the letter they're after, they end up looking kind of far away. So I'm just playing with that a little bit uh, and, until I like it. And I think that looks pretty good. So there, there's our, our donate panel. And I would like to add a graphic here. So what I did was I previously made some, some graphics. Uh, the rupee here is literally just a shape tool. Uh, and, and it's a, it's a very, very simple little shape that I, that I made. I'll, sh I'll show you real quick. I did the polygon tool with six sides, right? So it looks like that. And then I just made it taller. I'll make it green so you can 
so you can see it. That's all I did. And then I made another one that's a lighter color and then I added a little shading and an outline. That's really all I did. So very, very simple. So I made these little groupy graphics earlier. I think they look adorable. So, all right, and I feel like this is too tall, so I'm gonna shrink this down. I hit Control T, and then I'm just grabbing this little section here. You can drag it up or down. I'm dragging it down. And I feel like that changed my rounded edges. So I'm actually gonna redraw the shape. I'm gonna go back to the rounded rectangle tool. And there we go. Perfect, okay. So that is our shape here. We have the rupees. They kind of stick up a little bit, which I like. I'm gonna move this donate thing down. And now I'm gonna get rid of this background layer. Uh, I'm gonna hide it. So now you see that checkerboard. Yeah, so I have this uh, text aligned to right. And the reason I did that is if I wanted to make that with a word that's longer, it will always start right here. I'll be like lined up from the, the edge. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, um, so I'm going to take our uh, marquee tool and I'm going to select just kind of right around this. Go to image crop and I'm going to save this as a PNG. And what that does is it makes sure it has a transparent background. So we're going to save this as donate panel. Oh, I'll also save it as a um, <laughs> save save it as a PSD too in case I want to come back and edit it. So we have our donate panel. That was easy. Uh, now we're gonna make an about panel. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna change the text to about. And you see, because I made it aligned right, it still lines up on the edge there, which is which is great. And then I'm gonna hide this layer because we're not using it. Uh, and I'm going to use this emote here. Uh, this is actually an emote that I made for Button Mash Vixen. I asked her per permission to use it as an example for this video. Obviously, all the graphics that I'm using in this video are, are mine or they belong to someone else. So uh, so you're going to have to make your own thing. Please, please don't. Uh, you don't have permission to use to use this, this emote as well. Um, all right, so I dragged this on here and I had cropped it too short earlier. So what I'm going to do here is go to... Uh, the crop tool and you see now everything's selected i'm going to take this center little box i'm just going to drag it up and so now it's expanded it um i actually think that's too big though so i'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink this oops i'm gonna shrink this down Control t and it used to be you held shift to lock the dimensions the proportions but now when you hold shift it actually makes them wonky so don't hold shift just Control t drag the corner down uh, I'm going to make that smaller. And then I think I could fit the word me here. So I could say about me. Oops. I'm going to drag this. Maybe I can't. Um, all right. So I'd like it to say that, though, about me. Uh, I'm also going to change the spacing here again because the, the words are kind of far apart. Um, I don't really want to shrink this emote too much more because I, I like it. I'll move it over a little. Uh, I'm going to shrink the text a bit. And oops, and I uh, so Control T, and then just grab the corner and resize. And I'm doing it from the left so we can keep that alignment. So they'll always be aligned, kind of like that. And now we have this um, this little about panel, and and it looks very similar in style, but it's it's uh, a little a little different. So I'm gonna save this as about panel PNG. Uh, I'll also save it as a Photoshop file. Um, okay. And th those are pretty easy. So, you know, if you wanted to um, make panels that look really similar, like maybe you'll have a panel that says rules uh, and, you know, you'll, you'll have another graphic here. All right. Now I'm going to make a panel that's a little bit different. Uh, so, so far all of these panels have just been sort of a graphic and a little piece of text, but I want to make something with some information, uh, but that still fits the same style. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this crop tool again, and we're going to extend this so we have uh, more height here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this icon. I want them all to be different because I, I think for this look, uh, it kind of works that they're all different. So I grabbed here this uh, this heart 
heart piece design that I did and drag that over here. And that's going to be our little header graphic. And this is going to be subscribe. And again, it's a little bit too big. So we're going to hit control T and we're going to resize it, make it smaller and just lower it a little bit. I'm just hitting the arrow key down to, to kind of move that. So now it fits nicely. And what I'd like to do is add, I'm going to go underneath this layer here, this blue. I'm going to take this blue color and I'm going to make a darker version of it. And then I'm going to take this rectangle uh, tool here. I'm just going to make a box that's blue. Um, and I'm going to go back to white. I'm going to draw a text box over it. Uh, and then we're going to uh, add some, some things, some perks for subscribers. So uh, I'm actually going to align this left. I'm going to make this a much smaller font. I'll make it like a 14 font. And I think this fancy, you know, sort of really graphic font is, is kind of hard to read. So I'm going to go with something more like Open Sans. You can go with like Arial. It really doesn't matter because um, I think it'll be easier to read. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to make some bullet points uh, about what subscribers get. So we're going to have a uh, custom or I guess we'll call them like cute emote designs. And so you have this little list here, uh, and then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, and I'm going to change the spacing. So this right here is the spacing um, between lines. So I felt like that was like really spaced out and it was hard to, to kind of read. So I'm just going to do that. And I have some, some pre-made little graphics here that I'm going to use. So we have this little tiny Triforce that I made. And that's sort of like, I want to use that as a bullet point because I think it's a little cuter than just using a regular bullet point. Sometimes I'll use stuff like stars for bullet points, um, little hearts. I just think they, they kind of read nicely and look good. Uh, and that, that looks pretty good, but I'd like to add a little bit more, a little bit more flair. So what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to include uh, I'm going to show off the emote designs that this hypothetical Zelda themed Switch channel would get. So I'm going to show them here. Uh, and then I, I feel like this is a lot of empty space down here. So I'm going to, I'm going to crop that. And that would be our, uh, our sub subscribe panel. So sub panel. One thing that I don't really like about panels sometimes though, is it's really hard to tell which panels you're supposed to click on or not. So like, obviously about me, this is just a little header. You're not going to click on that, but the donate looks really similar and you might actually want to make this a button. So I do like to make some changes to differentiate clickable panels from non-clickable panels. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to sh shrink down the donate. And I know I, I, I ruined my alignment rule, right? But there's a reason for that. I'm going to take the polygon tool again, three sides, and I'm going to draw a little arrow uh, and make it white. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to resize it so it's a little shorter here. I'm going to rotate it and just kind of get it to line up. So now you get the sense that that's like a button. I'll move that back over. And so you get the, the idea here. You're, you're actually supposed to click on this. One more thing I'd like to show you how to do is use your artwork as the background of your panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the same kind of design we had before. Uh, we have this sort of rounded shape, but this time we're going to drag our artwork on top of it. Uh, we're going to hit control T and zoom out. All right, there we go. So we can see there's our whole art piece. I'm just going to shrink this down by grabbing the corner and adjusting it. And I'm going to try to line this up. I actually don't know if I want to shrink it down that much. Do I? Maybe. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll lower my opacity so I can see behind it a little bit. There we go. So now I can, I can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, kind of line it up. So I kind of like that. Obviously, I don't want the text sort of in front of it. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. 
And, uh, and I think that looks pretty good. So here's our art layer. Let's turn it back up so you can see it. Um, I want to make some adjustments to this though. So obviously I want to crop it so it's the shape that I want for the panel. So to do that, I'm going to control, uh, hold down control and then click on this layer here. So now I've selected it. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to this art layer. I'm going to copy, hide that and paste. I want this donate to stand out more. So there's a couple things I could do. I could choose just like a, a much darker font color. So I can, I can make that black. So I could do that and that, that looks okay, but I'm not crazy about it, honestly. So I'm gonna go back to white and what I'm gonna do is take this, this shape layer down here. I'm gonna make that black. And then I'm gonna lower the opacity of my artwork layer. So now we get this kind of cool sort of faded look you can see the art but the text really pops i'm gonna i'm gonna select that layer again the shape layer i'm gonna crop the whole thing uh, i'm gonna make sure my white background layer is turned off so this is transparent uh, and if i want to get fancy uh i can let's say merge these two layers so uh, i just put them in order and then i hit Control e uh, you can also do that by having them both selected go to layer uh, merge merge layers and it merged the two that were selected. And then I'm going to go to these options here. I'm going to add a stroke and uh, I'll make it white. So it'll have kind of a white border, which I think will pop nice on like a dark background. And I have it set to inside. And the reason for that is if I put it to outside, you won't even see it. It's like outside of what we have. So inside you will see the border uh, pixels. I think two is nice. And I think just for the sake of us seeing it, I'm gonna make it like a gray border. So it'll actually show up in a white background and I'll save that. So that's pretty much it for how to design panels. I really hope that this video was helpful. If you're interested in hiring a designer to make panels for you, honestly, there is no shame in that. I have years of design and illustration experience under my belt, so it's okay if this is beyond your skill set or something you're just not interested in learning. And if that's the case, you can hire someone on Fiverr. Fiverr has a Twitch store where you can hire artists and designers to make your Twitch panels, overlay graphics, emotes, logos, merch, pretty much anything that you need as a streamer. And if you're interested in signing up, please check out the link in the description. But full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, so I do get a little something when you sign up using it. This is like kind of an ad. Hooray, FCC compliancy. By the way, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And also feel free to plug your favorite streamers who have the nicest panels in your opinion. Just drop their username. I'll look them up because I'm really curious. I love seeing what people do for panels and getting new ideas. I change mine constantly, so I, I would love to see what other people are doing and what you think looks good. Anyway, that's it for me. Until next time, chase your dreams. Peace.